few years ago I read an article in uh, this New Scientist, um, July 1999. 1999, space 1999. When I think back before that, when I was a lot younger, thinking of 1999, it came, it went. Anyway, this is uh, exposed. Okay, the myth that the right side of the brain is hot and emotional, and the left side is cool and analytical. An interesting article, and gave me sort of connected a few thoughts I already had on the concept of the human brain. Um, and got me thinking further about it and how the brain is perceived okay on that concept of we are all different or we are all the same um, which I've heard recently sorry just a second um, which I've heard recently banded around uh, some people saying we're all individuals but we're all the same uh, in some aspects we are <laughs> very similar uh, and a lot of aspects here were very different. The brain makeup is a little more complicated. Uh, genetics play a strong part in the makeup of the brain. 66%, I believe, is the percentage of the genetic material used. Uh, the rest is for this, you know, the support system. Um, I like the video that was on the fucking news where the guy, or is it uh, Deke? channel I can't remember but uh, we're all assholes we start off as assholes and we you know, uh, but the last thing to develop is the brain and it's surprising how ignorant we are about the brain of others um, there are a lot of urban myths um, concerning uh, brain size you know, and what that means okay because it's not an urban myth that there is a difference in brain size between males and females. The average female brain is 10% smaller than the average male brain. What does that mean? It means that the average female is 10% smaller than the average male. Nothing more. Okay? So anyone who thinks that uh, still, yeah, I think that's gone, but there was that old uh, thought about women have smaller brains. And that's been a predominant thought in the male-dominated uh, society. <laughs> for a long time. Yeah. You have to look into how societies have developed. I'll leave you to go into the anthropology on that. I'm not going to explain it to you, really. Um, not at the moment, anyway. Um, I can't. It's not my place. It's your place to, to look into it. Um, I can explain how I see things, but uh, can't do it. Anyway, the brain. Well, anthropology probably has come into this as well here. Um, yeah, so brain size is a complete myth. There's, it says here, the myth of the left and the right hemisphere brain, uh, one being emotional, one being um, logical. Okay, I'm doing that the wrong way around. Uh, got my brain connections uh, mixed up. Both hemispheres are capable of doing more or less the same job. Okay, you have, um, from one eye, you have a main connection to the opposite hemisphere and a smaller connection to the same hemisphere and it's crossed over that way. The body sort of mirrors itself, okay? Right-handers are left-brainers, okay? Left-handers generally are right-brainers. It's a generalization. There are always going to be um, particular cases which are more complicated generally than things that disprove um, something um, because genetically your brain is formed. Okay, but your brain then develops, and it's the training that develops the brain. Uh, you'll see it in animals playing, okay, mammals play. Um, other more robotic animals, you know, just come out programmed. Serpents, <laughs> they don't need to learn a lot. Um, fish, okay. The dolphins, though, I mean, you'll see the young will stay because they're mammals, they need to learn, they play. So, I mean, the mammalian act of playing is learning learning, playing, games, life. It's all the same thing. Um, okay, going off course from the brain thing there, maybe. But, get myself back, where was I? Oh, I have this habit of deviating. Um, yeah, the two hemispheres in this article, and it's an interesting article because it does give, I, it's not, 
See, people come out with counter theories thinking they're going to destroy a theory, when in fact maybe there are parts of both theories present in, in something more complex. I, I believe that the emotional part of the brain, or one, part of the, one half of the brain, is better at performing certain tasks. Okay, both um, hemispheres can perform these tasks, but one is more suited to other tasks than the other, and vice versa. Okay, so there is a prominence of the, um, let's say, left brainer to be more interested in the smaller aspects. I mean, this is what the article says. It, you look at the small picture, you look at small details. Okay, but small details is analytical. Analytical, okay, is logical. Okay, so that actually backs it up. It sort of walks away when it ignores the fact that looking at a big picture, okay, is emotional. Uh, it's the big picture you look at when you've got the lion uh, <laughs> in the field and the cliff behind you. Okay, you've got to think, make a decision. You've got to make the right decision. So you're looking at the big picture, not you know, all the blades of grass and calculating you know, paces. Okay, so I think that article does put it together. And if you think about it, okay, creativity and the big picture. That's why artists uh, work. I've been to museum, not really into art, but I remember an ex-girlfriend once dragged me along to uh, a gallery in London. I can't even remember the name. But uh, yes, look at this picture here. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know if she really actually understood the expression behind the, the painting, what the, the artist wanted to do, but she'd been told that it was there. Um, I was never interested it was there or not. Um, but artists do express themselves in very <laughs> bizarre manners. Okay, you need to look right into the big picture there um, to get a, an idea of what they're thinking. Then you can probably break down into the smaller pieces. Um, but if you're not capable of looking at a big picture, you're only looking at the smaller pieces. And that's quite useful to a society because while people are being analytical and following the smaller pieces, um, they are, in fact, not looking at the big picture, okay? And you've got a certain select group who are looking at the big picture because they are working together, putting a puzzle together. Well, people on the ground floor aren't because the big picture is not even there, it's too complicated, and they're not being helped to put the puzzle together, okay? This puzzle is being created as we go along in time, okay? It's the puzzle of humanity. It's how can we fit together this system so it works for us, okay? us being a very uh, subjective thought in reality, they might think, well, us as in humanity, but <laughs> as they don't probably give the same respect as they give to themselves and their own to the rest of humanity, that us thing is dubious, uh, really. So, the different hemispheres of the brain, okay, and the fact that it crosses over. Have you ever noticed in society, this is my conspiracy theory, no, 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 conspiracy theory is not right, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Um, the fucking news pointed this out, the, the correct word to use is uh, coincidence theorist, and there is a theory which shows there is a coincidence, okay, or there is a coincidence, yeah, because the, cons uh, the coincidence is with the meeting of two things, Okay, so if I can put one point there and another point there together, okay, I'm making a coincidence, okay. And it's not con conspired that this happens, you know. I'm not cons saying that people have planned this, it's just that this is A and this is B and B is a result of A. Okay, and it's a theory because obviously I may be missing things out there, but I'm just suggesting it. Um, Left-handers out there. For people who are left-handed over a certain age, maybe they will still remember, or there will still be people around who will remember, that arms were tied behind backs if you used your left hand. Okay, so there was a bit of a thing against people using their left hand in the past. Why? Yes, everyone has to be right. <laughs> we're all right, okay, because I'm right, and therefore you will have to follow me, so then we are all right. Okay, no disagreement. Left-handers possibly are doing, you know, things in disagreement to the mass, but is it just, you know, being picky about hands? Um, then if you go back, you'll find that left-handers were considered to be connected to the devil. You know, I was like, I'm not going to tie your hand behind your back, but I'm going to beat you and burn you if I see you using your left hand. 